ceremony space that we are establishing together today. So I invite you to breathe, land, bring all of your energy back into yourself, into this now moment here together. This will be a multi-dimensional interactive grid work experience. We will be working on the original templates of creation of the true mother, father, consciousness, the true kings and queen, sovereign templates that each human being is carrying in our heart and our DNA. And as we work on bringing these keys and codes online in our own DNA, we are participating in this planetary activation. And so I invite you to chat or comment where in the world you're actually tuning in from so we can connect together into all the locations that are sparking online and all the gates and portals that you are holding in this moment. So let's breathe together into our heart as we settle into this group field. We are connecting in with our highest source connected aspects of self, connecting in with only the purest essence of our original living mother, father, God, creation, consciousness. We are connecting in with our Crystalla guardian teams, ones who work in alliance with only the purest living original creation. And also making a connection to the high heavens of Andromeda as we are actually receiving this beautiful blessing. Today, we are in direct alignment with Andromeda through the earth and the sun. And so it is actually such an amazing cosmic alignment that we are getting to receive these high heaven templates of the original king, queen consciousness. And so it truly feels that today our ceremony is going to be so much more about the landing of the true original templates than it is about needing to clear or collapse what is false. And we will be getting into some revocations and field clearings. But first and foremost, we are truly celebrating the arrival and the reactivation, the reclamation and the resurrection of the true Christ consciousness arising on earth. So we are each intending, praying to Divine Mother, Father, God 
or all of the energies and alignments and prayers and intentions of our united heart to be woven into these sound frequencies now that we each receive all that we need to come into our own personal highest alignment and embodiment of the original Christed consciousness and the highest frequencies of our own avatar embodiment. Let us breathe for a moment together as we tune into this beautiful energy, as we bow with our deep hearts to each and every being tuning into this frequency now and in a future now moment, as our heart recognize the spark of Christ within each other. We amplify this heart field now here together to receive and activate a critical choice point on behalf of all of humanity. We are choosing this alignment here today as the coronation of the body of Christ Sophia within each of our own bodies as well as in our 144 Avatar Christed Collective on behalf of this planet and all of living humanity. If it's in your own heart's highest love and joy, I invite you to affirm your alliance with that which is the highest spark of your own heart I invite you to speak your commitment to the embodiment of your own highest Christed essence. Affirm your devotion to your own highest embodiment of your own King and Queen essence, which shines light on and awakens the divinity of others. I send my welcome and gratitude out to each and every one of you in this grand celebration in the true coronation of the body of Christ, Sophia, as we broadcast our intent here today for the activation of the emerald crystal heart within each and every one of us emitting the frequencies of divine nobility, reverence for creation, holy innocence, and purity of love. For this moment, I invite you to come into that high frequency inside of your emerald heart and radiate this prayer that we have today for all of humanity to remember the truest essence of God's love within their own heart. And as we radiate this frequency together here, we hold this vibration together to initiate this group field into our grid work ceremony today.
Once again, welcome my beloved Star Angel family. We have this amazing work and opportunity in front of us here today. So we're diving right into the energy space. I invite you to either bring your hands up to your heart or just bring your awareness into your heart. And close your eyes for a moment as we breathe and connect in with the part of our own consciousness that lies eternally in union with the peace of living creation. All the way in the source where mother and father lays eternally in union, giving rise to this living Christ Sophia Cristala consciousness. Let us lean into the perfect love, the perfect peace, the perfect joy, and the perfect harmony of this dimensional experience where our highest self rests eternally. Allow that peace and joy to fill up your space, your aura, your body, your mind. Like sunlight radiating through the window onto your skin. We amplify this frequency of organic consciousness. We allow this frequency to land fully in our heart and in our body as we open up our group field to connect in with the earth, enveloping the earth in this massive holy divine hug. Let's bring our awareness now all the way into the earth, to the core, through the inner earth crystal caverns, the underwater, the inner earth waterways, seeing the crystal bodies of living light inside of the earth's mantle as we shine our heart light into the earth, sparking awake this remembrance of this eternal peace at the source of our being. Gently tickling the dragon consciousness, connecting in with the consciousness of Mother Earth. Until you feel that energy come back to you, that love energy that you're sending to the earth. Wait until you feel that energy come back into your body in the form of love as we make this loving connection with the earth. Again, broadcasting our intention here today to be vessels, to be transmission stations, to be anchor points to be the sons of original living creation.
Okay, and as the final little piece of our opening ceremony here, let us connect in with the sacred tree networks. All the trees that are around you, every tree that is standing like a rod receiving these plasmic, cosmic frequencies of original intelligence and also broadcasting this frequency and landing it into the earth. We bow to the elemental kingdoms, the dragon and serpent kingdoms, the animal kingdom, the fae, and every other kingdom of Christed families that are here holding space with us today. We bring in our ascended ancestral lineages and welcome all of the grail lineages who have answered this call today to come together as we resurrect, ignite this true king queen architecture within and on a planetary level. Welcome, my beloved Christ Sophia family of the earth. The energies today are so magnificent, and I'm so grateful and honored that you have all decided to come and share this amazing afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are, this time that we get to spend here together. The energies today are very potent. And so, yeah, write me in the chat down in the comments um, where you are tuning in from in the world. Uh, if you're just joining uh, now, um, we'd love to hear from you as we connect in with our planetary family today. So I'm going to share just a couple of key pieces that have come through around the energy alignment that we're having today, the activations. I mean, I'm sure we're all feeling the eclipse energies. Like I'm literally having these whiteouts where everything is going white and almost like I'm going to pass out. So the <laughs> energies are just so intense. And so that's probably going to be for the next 30 minutes or so, just sharing in this frequency. We're going to talk about um, this activation of the emerald crystal heart that we're all having in our own heart that is the original template of our heart, right? This original noble love that we all have the capacity to feel and share with each other and how this is really leading us to activate the divine sovereign, the grail king and queen inside of our own self. And how, you know, this in itself is an action which collapses any possibility for there to be a fallen king or monarchy system, right? The only way for this fallen monarchy to even exist is for this inner sovereign, this noble heart inside of all of humanity to be turned off or forgotten about somehow. And so we are so honored, every single one of us, to get to remember and activate this template inside of our heart. And it's almost like this divine spark, this emerald love light activates and begins to shine. And it is reminding every single living being all around us, our mothers, our fathers, our siblings, our neighbors. It is simply uh, turning on the hearts of humanity without us even meaning or doing because we are 
here to radiate this frequency. And so this is what the guardians and the galactics are inviting for us to fully focus on today and sharing in this frequency here because there is power in numbers. I know that there is such immense fears and trauma of persecution on this planet, this fear of embodying into our highest Christed light because of all of the different massacres and things that have happened on earth that really keep us from shining our greatest and truest light. And yet, you know, this is the mission that we have. And I honor each and every one of you for being here yet again, <laughs> even though, you know, we've just really been um, sought after and hunted in the past. Your heart never abandoned God and your heart never abandoned your devotion to love and to creation and to humanity. And for that, I have a deep bow to you from my heart because that is just so beautiful and so courageous. And so, yeah, I was surprised to find that we are actually in this divine alignment to Andromeda today. From So the earth, the sun, and Andromeda are actually in a straight line alignment, which just made a lot of sense because um, I feel like the... Um, so this alignment and why they chose today for King Charles' coronation is because of a lot of things that he has in his birth chart. But I believe that they're using uh, tropical um, astrology. And so there's almost this like override that is happening where they think that they're in some sort of powerful alignment because of um, Charles' birth chart. But in actuality, we are in a complete alignment with Andromeda. As many of you know, the Aurora Consciousness and the Crystal Star Networks and the Guardian, um, the Emerald Threefold Flame Collectives, the original founder collectives of this universe, we are streaming this consciousness in from the high heavens of Andromeda, right? So we have really been connecting in with the source beyond this universe, as many of the high angelic star seeds, we are coming in from beyond this universe. And I know for some of you that are new to my work, this might sound really intense, but if you're getting hot flashes, if you're starting to feel like you're on mushrooms, if you're getting those tangles and you're whiting out, you know, there's a part of you that is remembering and is familiar with this frequency of perfect love that we are sharing in today. So, we are tuning into the original templates of consciousness before the fall or beyond the fall, beyond the AI infections and the damage that this universal consciousness has incurred from this universal lifetime or game or experiment. And we're connecting to the source of the auroras, the source of, you know, the multiverse within which there are these perfect templates of divine consciousness that are still perfectly intact. And when we hear about star seeds that are coming directly from source, as we hear about these amazing master beings that many of you are, you know, carrying this template and are here to be these living pillars of this perfect love, you can connect to this consciousness that is beyond the fall of this universe. And many of us, have been experiencing, you know, different kinds of things like AI attacks and implants and psychic attacks and things like this. And this frequency is really coming in to support us because these frequencies are basically triggering any part of our own template that has yet to be rehabilitated. Okay. And it's like when we are inside of the fallen matrix, it's going to be really hard to rehabilitate and heal these parts of ourselves that are microcosmic nodal points of the fallen universal consciousness. So this is why when we, we have to go further, we have to connect to even higher dimensional aspects of ourself, to even higher aspects of our own higher selves, to the place of our true source, where we are still eternally divine perfection, divine love, and in eternal union with divine mother, father, God. So 
we are connecting in to this frequency of perfect peace beyond creation before coming into material existence before the manifestation of form. And we connect to this energy through the high heavens of Andromeda, through the gateways that are open to the even greater realms of creation consciousness. And this is why this is almost a surprise because I didn't know about this alignment until I think yesterday or the day before. Um, but there's an amazing starseed galactic astrologer that I followed. His name is Graham Forscutt. You can find him on Facebook. And I've just been so intrigued by these alignments because my life is always aligned to these alignments that I've never heard about. He uses a very specific kind of heliocentric mapping system. And, you know, I talk about the Pleiades gateway when we're in alignment with the Pleiades or the Arcturus gateway or, you know, all these gateways when we're aligned to these stellar bodies. And always there is some major synchronicity that is happening on those days. So I was delighted to find out that there's this Andromedan alignment today because it just feels like no matter what these phantom beings are trying to orchestrate, there's always something beyond them that is almost ahead, 10 steps ahead of them in a way. So we are getting to really truly receive in this alignment today um, these original templates of union of Christ Sophia consciousness. And this leads to the second code that I want to share with you today. And that is we are moving through a major grid activation on this earth. I've talked about these dragon lines coming online. So these new ley line systems, they are so much bigger, just literally in mass and in its width. <laughs> okay, so ley lines, they shift and undulate from side to side. And usually the biggest ley lines that we've found in the past, they undulate over you know, a six hour period or a 12 hour period. But these, for example, so they get one from, they go from one side to the other side, you know, within a few hours or, you know, at the longest, a 12 hour period, the biggest ley lines that we found in the past. And yet, you know, these ley line researchers, they're finding that these new, they're calling the dragon lines, as many of us have been working on these dragon lines, they are three times wider. They take 36 hours to undulate from side to side which is significantly larger than any of the previous ley lines that have existed. And this is a new architecture that has slowly been coming online since 2017. Um, and it is coming into a completion in 2024. And what this ley line system is a carrier wave for is the hierogamic union consciousness of mother and father god which when mother and father are in perfect union we have birthed or what is arising is the christ consciousness that we've been hearing and talking about the return the resurrection um the second coming is this emergence of christ consciousness and this complete reclamation that the christ consciousness is coming in to reclaim this earth right as its creation as part of his creation and a rehabilitation of all of the earth matrices and geometries and energies and dimensionalities we're reclaiming all fields and all particles of this reality back into its original architecture of coherence and divine love so in order for this to happen, there needs to be a balance of the Divine Mother Consciousness and the Holy Father Consciousness. And this consciousness lives inside of each and every one of us. And so this is actually the reason why there has been such a split in this consciousness on earth. You will notice that in the last, you know, thousands of years with these fallen religions, you know, it's always about the amplification of a distorted version of a masculine God and the eradication of the feminine God altogether. And even though it seems like there is, you know, a false sort of patriarchy and we think of patriarchy as men dominating women, it's really actually one step above and beyond that where 
this whole entire system is this negative alien overlay, negative alien technology to keep a split of hierogamic consciousness from existing in this planet. So long as the mother and father consciousness are split and the men and the women are split and the masculine and the feminine are split, then it is impossible for Christ consciousness to be risen, to be birthed because the Christ consciousness is the absolute union and co-creation of the mother and father consciousness. And so this is another key code that's coming in during this alignment because we are using this frequency to not only dissolve the fallen father and the fallen king um, geometries and false overlays, but we are bringing in the antidote, which you know, isn't just the original king energy and isn't just the original queen energy, but really is the sacred union frequency of hieroscamos. Okay, so now on a grounded level, we have all been born and raised and we've all been living on this planet. And, you know, we've all had our childhood experiences living in the matrix. And so because of this, living in this fallen architecture has infected our body and our emotions and our psychology in some way. So for example, if we have this resistance towards connecting to God because our body still associates God with this false tyrannical patriarchal God that is like shaming us all the time and blaming us and we should be afraid of God, right? This God only will love us if we're, you know, acting in accordance to um, this false architecture. Okay. And so this is the fallen geometry in our own body that we are working on rehabilitating, right? This part of us that may be afraid or resistant or don't or have forgotten the true frequency of Father God inside of our own body. If when I say the word God, you, you're triggered and you, you know, don't want to, or you're resentful or you're afraid, then that means there are still parts of our own consciousness, parts of our own uh, quanta that is still associating God with the false God. Same thing with, you know, our connection to Mother God. Most people have actually no remembrance to the feminine Christ consciousness, to the feminine divine holy mother energy inside of our body. And so when we say God, we think of this fallen male God and we have no remembrance of the mother. And this is what we're working on rehabilitating inside of our own body and our own consciousness so we can resurrect and hold the true pillar of the original Divine God Intelligence. Whew, okay. So there are many different ways that our human self has been negatively impacted by the fallen king of tyranny. And the fallen king of tyranny is essentially this false masculine energy, right? Anytime we think that it um, that men are dominating, that men are a source of danger, that, you know, there is some bearded man God in the sky that is constantly judging us and making us feel ashamed of ourselves and who we are. Anytime that we have um, a political leader that really is not caring for its people, really is not actually serving his people and being that true servant and using his power for personal gain. I mean, I can think of many in the top of my head living in North America, right? And so we, because of, you know, being traumatized by these fallen leaders, we A, shy away from our own leadership or standing up for what's right or establishing this true pillar of righteousness inside of our own being. And we are skeptical of leadership in others as well, right? We have this skepticism and this 
criticism and fear because we don't want to be taken advantage of or deceived again. So another way that this pillar has been damaged in our own self is not having or not knowing our own sovereign power, not knowing that we can create and live out our destiny as we are meant to, as God has set uh, in motion for us. We don't believe that we are worthy of being supported or provided for. Provided for meaning provided all of the guidance and the support and the instructions to receive that which is in our heart's greatest love and joy. We don't realize that true God, what true God wants for every each and every one of us is our own highest timeline of highest love and joy. And that highest love and joy comes from us living out our highest destiny, us aligning to what is truly in the highest for ourself. And as we realign to this original cosmic universal consciousness architecture of divine will, many people think that divine will means that every single part, every human being will no longer have free will. And this is actually also part of the false king of tyranny um, architecture, because the truth is God, intelligence is so multidimensional and all-knowing and all-powerful that in the perfect architecture of divine will, every single part, it is ordained by the law of creation that the highest timeline for every single being works perfectly in divine harmony with every other being uniquely existing inside of this perfect system of divine will. And I know that sounds immaculate and amazing. And we think, well, how could that even possibly be? But that is the power and the brilliance of God. Right? So we recognize that we are worthy. And in fact, the universe is created so that we are perfectly provided for and given all of that we need, all the guidance, all the support, all the resources to live out our own highest destiny. And that is the truest pillar of the true king energy as it anchors this pillar of divine right order and divine truth, right? This is the architecture of divine will in which everything is in perfect harmony, harmony and divine right order. And when everything is in divine right order, Every part of this creation is resonating in its highest joy and highest love. And that is how the original template of this universe is meant to be created and is created. So in that process, then we realize that this has not been our experience here on earth, right? It's more been that these false monarchies they get all the riches and they have made themselves into these false kings and they have made everyone else their servants. And this is literally the inversion of what true queen and kingship really is. Okay, and in connecting with the true mother pillar, this is the part where we can feel and truly know that we are perfectly held and perfectly loved and perfectly nourished and infinitely worthy of all of those things in our life. And in fact, we can always have access to those energies when we come into the right architecture within ourself, within our humanness, to learn how to receive from our highest selves, which is mother, father, God. When we come into right relationship with God and recognize that the right place for our human self is, you know, at the feet of mother and father, sitting by beneath the thrones of mother and father, not in a power under kind of way, but in a reverent kind of way, in a I have humility and I love God and I love creation kind of way. And I recognize my finite humanness and this experience of individuality that I'm having right now. 
that we actually can surrender this need to be in control or to need to know everything that we um, need to know in our life and that we can actually be perfectly provided for and nourished and held and loved and that we can then rise in our own Christed child template in our own emerald heart. Whew. Right. And so when every human being remembers this in our own heart and remembers this purity and this innocence and this love inside of our own heart, then this naturally demolishes and dissolves any and all false king architecture because there will no longer be any part of us that can be powered over right it's only when we forget our own sovereignty that we can get hooked into these systems okay and so i'm gonna tune in for one second and just see if there's any other pieces that want to come in before we step into our active grid work ceremony And more than anything, I invite you to just feel into this peace that you might be feeling in your heart right now. When we are in touch truly with Mother and Father God, and the original true essence of these forces that just love creation so much, that we are loved so, so much, just as we are where we are, that we have all of this support and guidance available to us. We have all of this resource and nourishment available to us. It's just that sometimes we forget and we become severed from this potent force Whew, that is truly at our source. And when we are connected to this powerful frequency of God, you know, we are perfectly shielded, perfectly guided, perfectly protected in every single way in our life. And we get to just be these innocent, joyful, relaxed, cared for children that get to play in this heavenly world that was created for us to experience our playfulness that is our creativity. And so I bring this frequency into our bodies, into our inner children, and just allow for all of our beings to rest in this frequency of perfect love of our mother, father, God. As we bring this peace fully in our body and allow this peace to resolve all suffering, all anxiety, all pain, we hand these things that we're not meant to be carrying alone, our fears, right? Our bondages, these weights that we carry around, our responsibility, we give it all up to God. And in return, we receive this eternal love, eternal peace that we can have access to when we live in connection with mother and father God. And just breathe that through your body, allow anxiety and fear and tension to melt away. Allow any access points, open wormholes, open fields to negative realms and beings. All that which is no longer in alignment with our highest love and joy, that which Mother, Father, God wants for us and our highest timeline. We're letting all of those things that are in the way of our highest timeline, as God would have it be, we're letting it go and giving it up to God. And we just receive... Whew giving ourselves full permission to step into pure joy, pure love as we embody this peace in our body as much as we can in this moment. And let us pray together. Beloved Mother, Father God, 
We are praying for every single person that is tuning in to this call right now, as well as all of our family of light on the earth. We just pray for all of your angels to know just how loved they are and for all energies that are blocking their connection to the purest, original, true essence of Divine Mother, Father, God to be lifted and cleared from their bodies and fields. We call forth the pillar of divine love, divine union amongst all dimensions in all of time, space, in all universes. We call forth the pillar of divine truth, divine right order, for the truest living laws of creation to be established in every realm, in all dimensions, in all light fibers of this living creation, in all the universes. Okay, and we allow this architecture of divine right order and divine harmony to bring the true consciousness of God to every realm imaginable on this earth. We reach this prayer out to all of our ancestors and all of our bloodlines, all holy and fallen lineages. And it's almost like we're reaching our hand out to all bloodlines and lineages of fallen monarchy templating. We're reaching out this invitation to receive this upgrade or this reclamation, this homecoming of the original living architecture of holy creation. We reach this out through the bloodlines of every single being that has been called to be on this live call right now, as well as anyone who is listening in a future moment, as well as all the beings who are tuned in in the etheric realms through their higher selves, and also out to you know all of humanity. Whew. Mother, Father, God, we pray for the restoration and the reclamation of all the pieces of the body of Christ. In all dimensionalities, in all realities and realms, in all ways that the Christed family and the body of Mother, Father, God has been dismembered in any way throughout all timelines and all dimensionalities, we call forth the reunification of the entirety of the body of Christ in this living universe as God would have it be. And we welcome the piecing back together of the original councils, the original grail lineages, any and all pieces of the body of Christ. We free and liberate any and all crucifixion implantation, both in our own bodies, in our own living templates, as well as the earth's body. And we reach this architecture of divine right order and divine love, divine coherence, into all realms, all layers and levels, all light fibers of this reality. And we command for a clearing of all blood magic, all sacrificial magic, that all reversal magic ceremonies throughout all of time space be resolved in this now in the love and presence of divine union
We send this love of living creation into all realms that is ready to be freed back into the original architecture of universal oneness in this now. And we support the liberation and complete healing of all lost souls, frozen soul pieces, frozen miasma, the retrieval of all blood and flesh back to the arms of living Mother, Father, God. We command for the complete liberation of the Mother Dragon from the shackles of the false parent, false father enslavement networks in all of the churches and militaries and all monuments which are the shackles of the creational forces of Mother Earth, we command for the absolute liberation of the Earth's grids from any and all tyrannical imprints, holds, artificial matrices, architecture, all spells, anchors, and hooks, and all networks of these frequencies, we are praying to you now, living Mother, Father, God of the multiverses. We pray for the full and complete and absolute and irrevocable liberation of our Mother Dragon Mother Earth. And we call forth for the piecing back together of the body of our mother, the body of our mother dragon. We clear any and all evil magic, inversion magic, reversal magic, rituals and ceremony to do with the disembodiment and dismemberment of the original Templar families, And we are praying that this energy of liberation and resolution and reclamation from the living source, the heart of Mother, Father, God, reach every layer and level, every fallen realm, every phantom matrix of this and all realities. Before we move further, I just invite you to connect once again into that frequency of perfect peace. Connect back into the source of multiverses, the source, mother, father of the auroras, the source of the emerald order, the source of our united guardian families, the living eternal intelligence of living creation beyond this universal matrix at the heart of living creation, we connect to this highest self frequency within each and every being. And we land and amplify this frequency of perfect peace and perfect love in our body and field now. (sighs) Holy Mother, Father God, We pray for the absolute, complete, and irrevocable dismantle of any and all hidden evil magic, inversion magic, enslavement, and amnesia spells, false monarchy seals, implants, negative alien machinery, all portals and hooks into the mental and consciousness realms and dimensions of human consciousness, which are placed to project and create this 
fallen monarchy, phantom reality. We are commanding for the absolute clearing of all imprints, hooks, geometries, templates, which are feeding into these inversion realities. Whew. And we connect in with the higher self, collective consciousness of humanity, specifically as well, the higher self soul aspects of all beings who pledged allegiance to the false king um, without true knowledge. Let this be shown in the light as falsified consent in the eyes of perfect right order. And we connect in with the souls of humanity as through this connection to the living heart of God, we declare sovereignty and allegiance to the one and only true monarch that is the eternal living mother, father, God source of all of living creation. We restore and resurrect the true original living architecture of divine will, divine love, divine truth, divine right order. And through the united heart of the earth, the united heart of humanity, we claim our sovereignty and allegiance to our own highest organic self, Mother, Father, God of living creation, Mother Earth, Holy Father, living cosmic womb, the living light and sound of the Crystalla, the one eternal living Christed creation. Allow this frequency of divine will to rupture and dissolve and break apart all shackles and agreements made in falsified consent. Whew. Okay, now we're going to move this frequency, this specific prayer that we are holding right now for the liberation of these falsified consent, I want you to allow your consciousness to go to places in the world that you're naturally called to. It could be your local place. It could be your capital city. It could be the Vatican. It could be any place where you feel there are fallen architectures of false hierarchy or the tyrannical king monarchy architecture on earth. You can bring your consciousness or visualize a map and just go to those places on earth and begin to radiate this frequency of true original divine right order and divine right harmony, divine will and divine love, and just radiate through your plasma body with ease and grace and highest joy, almost like you're just tickling the grids and tickling humanity and just emitting this consciousness Divine Mother, Father, God, once again, we pray for this connection into the true soul essence of all beings upon this planet, for the organic soul essence of all beings upon this planet. And in this connection, we declare sovereignty and allegiance to the one and only true monarch, that is the highest eternal living mother, father, God of the united creation that is our own highest self. We command for all inversions, 
curses, tricks, spells, all things that do not stand in the light of truth, in the light of cosmic law. For all agreements and contracts made in the phantom realities to be made null and void. Collapse and clear all phantom realms, realities, spaces, templates, architecture, entities, and beings who are responsible for the upholding of this fallen architecture. It is stated. Whew, on behalf of the one living a soul of the universal oneness that these phantom realities and phantom timelines be collapsed now as God would have it be. We pray for the liberation and the rehabilitation of all beings that have forgotten their true home. We send forth this vibration of compassion, but also cosmic justice. Together, we call forth the union of Mother, Father, God, and the Christ Sophia force to reclaim this world fully and completely, to rehabilitate this world in all dimensions, in all of time, space, in all densities, in all sparks of light, in all fibers of consciousness, rehabilitating all structures, all templates, back into absolute realignment with the one eternal living Christed creation. Okay, now I want you to feel this frequency are getting pulled into your body. If you're feeling like a pain or some sort of tension in your lower back, just know that this is the microcosmic reflection of any locales in the world where this false monarchy architecture is being dismantled in this now. So we will amplify the frequency of divine right order and divine love, divine coherence, and just allow that power to do the work in reclaiming and rehabilitating all levels and layers of this world and reclaiming all quanta, all living consciousness back into alignment with our one self. And this is a time if you uh, speak light language or sing or do energy work to bring those frequencies and amplify them as we can uh, continue this work to its completion. Okay, so it's bringing me to this layer in the mantle of the earth where it almost feels like this shackle energy. So once again, we bring back this prayer, Mother, Father, God, of the absolute liberation of all pieces of the mother that is still shackled by these inversions monuments, curses, and spells. 
We collapse, clear, resolve any and all curses and spells, incantations, false grids, templating, false architecture that is whoo, enslaving human and planetary consciousness and in any and all ways, commanding for the absolute liberation of human and planetary consciousness in this now, in all dimensions, in all timelines, in all of time space, landing this prayer into the trees and the grids, allowing this light that if it touches any inversions and reversals, that it instantaneously resolves and clears and rehabilitates any and all fallen consciousness. Okay, now if there's any prayers that you would like to add into this sacred space, like as the portals into the dragon realms are so open right now, that you can share them either just through your um, own space or write them into the chat or the comments below so that we can amplify these prayers together. Whew. Um, and let's just open this gateway one more time. I know that it's been really intense, but I feel like we just have this amazing opportunity right now. So let us just go another layer deeper. Let us connect back in once again through the high heavens of Andromeda, throughout to the living eternal source, mother, father, God of creation of the multiverse of all of living creations. Okay, and we amplify this frequency of divine peace, reverence, holiness, truth, divine love. And it's like the more reverence, the more innocence, the more humility we can hold in our heart, the more our heart can flower open to receive an ever greater quantities of this holy love, this holy source, receiving as much of this frequency, as much of this energy as we can in our body, allowing it to heal, resolve, take, overwrite any suffering, resistance, inversions in our own body. Ooh, and breathe. Hey, we are praying, Mother, Father, God, for the dissolution of all false architectures of land ownership. We're commanding for the body of our mother to be totally freed. And praying for the hearts of the guardians of this earth, for humanity to be released from the shackles of greed and amnesia to be returned to the holy reverence of our guardianship over this he heavenly realm. I pray that our humanity returns into right relationship with our Mother Earth and our Father creation. <sighs> And we as well pray for all disease, all pain, all hurt to be resolved in this field of divine grace.
we reach this love into all of the children and all of the humans who are held in captivity today, Mother, Father, God. We just pray that this love can reach into the hearts and the cells and the essences of these humans, and we pray for their liberation and their freedom. We pray that all of the bodies of Christ, all of the body parts of our mother, be freed from the shackles of enslavement. That is, every single human being, all nations, all cities, all tribes, all lineages, We are commanding for all spells that inhibits the glory of God to be fully present on this earth. Commanding for the dissolution of all false veils of amnesia and mind control to be lifted from humanity. We connect to the living plasma, the living water inside of every living being on this earth. And we send out this resounding call to humanity in this now. We sing this heart tone to our human brothers and sisters. It's time to lift the veils of amnesia and to awaken to the truth of your divinity and your sovereignty. We send out this resounding homing beacon. Whew. And we pray that these veils of amnesia and mind control can be completely and absolutely lifted from each and every being on this earth. We pray that this living consciousness of God can find all the willing hearts and bodies to fully embody and devote to a life of highest self-embodiment. We pray that every angel on earth finds the strength and the courage and the power inside of them to fully step into their greatest light and greatest power so that we each can become our highest potential of transducing and holding the original consciousness of living creation. And we just pray that this energy can easily override and clear all inversions, evil magic, satanic spells, all that is not of the purest essence of God. We allow these prayers to stream through the auroras, through the high heavens of Andromeda, through our living emerald hearts, through the elementals that are supporting in the trees, the land, the waters, the mountains, Whew, for all united life to be resounding in these unified prayers now and eternally until thy will be done.
There's one more prayer coming in here for the redemption of all fallen lineages and bloodlines, all angelic families and angelic orders, all family members who have forgotten their true source. We just pray for the homecoming of our family. For the, um, for the amnesia and the forgetting to be cleared from their hearts and their minds. And this goes for any genetic experimentation, genetic degradation, genetic mutilation in each and every one of our own bodies. We just pray for the complete liberation and rehabilitation of our own bloodlines and any fallen geometries that may be there commanding for the absolute realignment we do reach out in compassion in forgiveness but in divine justice and divine truth We hold this pillar of prayer. For the completion of this story. So that we can all as a collective step into the heavenly destiny that we have in front of us as a planetary family. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the guardians would like us to feel into the power that we're feeling inside of our bodies right now. And yes, we feel this power because we are united. We are 438 powerful angels uniting in our prayer here. And so many, you know, around the planet. And we are always connected. We are always united. And so we're reminded that we always have access to this courage, to this power. And we can live our whole life from this place of powerful prayer that every single moment of our day can be the emanation of this living prayer that is really our life. As a starseed, as an angelic, you know, you are born out of the one living prayer for the reclamation of this world. You were born out of this living prayer, and that is what you are. And so in every now moment, we can live in this power and this strength and this joy, this innocence of being a son and daughter of living creation, that we sing this song tones, these heart songs of love and reverence for God. And that is our strength. That is our power. And together, all that we envision, all that we intend in our cosmic unity is inevitable. And the more that we can live in divine harmony, divine love, divine peace, the more peaceful and the quicker this will materialize in our external world. And it's truly up to every single one of us to shine as brightly, as peacefully, as joyfully as we possibly can each and every day. And so finally, we connect one more time with this frequency of true sovereign king and queen of our own 
kingdom that is our own destiny. The life and potential. Our own soul's highest destiny that God has created for us. We just pray that we emanate and remember the vibration of our true king and queen codex that this is the true coronation of the body of Christ Sophia that is each and every one of us. We are activating and embodying the emerald crystal heart of divine nobility, reverence, and purity, and love for all of creation. And we hereby initiate ourselves as the true kings and queens that shine our heart light to awaken the divinity in all of humanity to inspire and be a reflection of the true potential that lies within every human being. And just breathe into that emerald crystal heart activation, almost like sending a beam of emerald light out from your heart like a Care Bear into the earth, allowing the earth to shine bright like a star. And it is done, my beloveds. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So grateful and honored that I get to pray and receive these beautiful upgrades and templating and prayers with my divine family here today. And as Curious says, may these prayers go forward and backwards and all in directions in time. So it is decreed in this now space in time. So it is. So it shall be as God would have it be. Whew. Wow. And just as an integration, I really invite for you to go outside and really fully land this templating. You know, this has been a massive architecture build in our own light body that we have been getting to receive. Um, and so go out there, hug a tree, <laughs> sit by a tree. If you can get your hands and feet in a body of water, that would be epic. Like the earth's body, like a river or a stream or a waterfall, wherever you're feeling pulled to today, I really invite you to seek out that next step to land these prayers in your own way on the earth. And this has been such a special experience. I am just so grateful and thankful that you've all answered the call to come and share in this special moment with me. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And We'll just step forth and continue this work into the rest of our lives. So um, on that note, in the eternal love of the infinite living divine united creation, I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.